Hello my loves, today we are doing a get ready with me video but it's two in one so just a couple of looks I loved that I've done recently. I thought I'd just voice over them, put on some cool music and just chill with you guys and show you how I did these looks. This one is probably my favourite but I definitely think I got more compliments on this one right here so I'll show you how I did both. We're going to start with this more berry toned, warm, beautiful, bronzy, lashy glam look what would you call this i don't even know but i really like it i do so we are starting out with nice clean skin and a cup of coffee that i made way too strong what's new and why am i using a tablespoon i'm not too sure but anyway we're going to begin with the brows i'm just pushing them up with some brow wax this one is the anastasia beverly hills one Once I um, push them up with the brush, I like to use my fingers and just like squash them down. And then if any are like too up, I'll just like kind of like curve them downward a little bit. That's what I'm doing there. I don't know if you can really tell what I'm doing, but that's how they look. I love this look. And then I'm going to do some cream contouring. I was just having a little bit of fun with my makeup. So this is the Huda Beauty one in Fair. I have everything listed down below for you guys. But I'm just applying it underneath my foundation today. So putting it on... All the places I like to contour. I'm going a little bit heavier handed than normal as well because we are going to be putting our foundation on the top. And the one I'm using today is the YSL Too Chiclet one that I've been loving lately. Um, so yeah, just applying that all over over top with a sponge. This is one I'm at Tuesday Vets So Beauty. We've got new sponges coming very soon. They are ultra, ultra, ultra soft. So I'm really excited about them. This foundation has a really, really nice kind of coverage where it's, I don't know, it feels really light on the skin, but it's more of a medium and it's got a really pretty finish. Quite natural looking, but like glam and flawless, but I don't know how to describe it. It's just like the best blend of everything. So that's why I've been using it so often lately. I just feel like it looks so stunning. And then I'm gonna use a hourglass uh, concealer just to kind of highlight under my eyes. I don't do this so often anymore, but I just felt like doing it So I went a few shades lighter than normal Why does this music sound like aliens and like racing and it, I don't know, it's kind of comical with me like sped up blending out my concealer. <laughs> I can't decide if I love it or I hate it. Next we smack the loose powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. I still have been really enjoying this too which is so weird for me. I'm using my little XOB sponge to be under my eyes just to like bake it. Um, and set all of that concealer. I'm also using it in the other areas. I used concealer too, like down my T-zone. Um, I don't even think I ended up, did I end up setting the rest of my face? I'm not too sure. Anyway, we're moving on to eye makeup while that chills. So this is the Mitchell palette by Beauty Bay that you can't get anymore, but they do have other cool palettes. So I'll link Beauty Bay palettes down below. Um, but you'll probably have some similar colors to these. I'm first starting out with just a classic neutral and doing a little winged out shape and bringing that color all the way in to the very inner area of my eye and underneath as well. So to get that more like reddish, rosyish, pinkish vibe, we're taking some burgundy red kind of tones and mixing them together and applying that through the crease and kind of mimicking where we put the brown color just layering them together and blending them out really really well and then we're going in with a really nice like I don't know it was like a reddish chocolatey kind of color this color actually creased quite a lot I don't know if it's the spray or what it was but I'm just layering it up and I ended up layering it up later in the video I probably cropped it out but it looked nice in the end anyways then we're going to blend out all of that excess powder 
and move on to some more face makeup. Wait, do we do the face first or the eye makeup? I can't remember anymore. I did this like 20 minutes ago and I'm already forgetting. There we go. Bronzer. Nailed it. So we're using the Sweethearts Bronzer by Too Faced. Sweet Tea, one of my favorites ever and just warming up the skin. And then next up we are going to highlight as well and I'm using the Vive one. How do you say this word? Bijo? I'm not too sure how to pronounce that honestly. Someone please comment down below and let me know. There's always one of my viewers that helps me out with my pronunciation. So please help me because I always wonder how to pronounce that word. I've seen it a lot but I don't know what it is. Sorry if I'm dumb. Anyway, just applying this to all the high areas and then moving some of that red down onto the lower lash line as well and using the highlight on my inner corners and brow bone. I don't think I really like this song, but I feel like I've just committed so far with my voiceover, you know? Like, I've really committed with the cause. So, it's over shortly, guys. The song's about to end. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, we're using some legendary brows on the brows and this Caution Mascara on the lashes. I love this one for the pure fact that it is so black. Like, it's just got the most gorgeous, rich black pigment and just makes your lashes look great especially your lower ones then i'm taking my little pen by mac it's linked below and just adding some extra brow hairs in because i haven't had a tint in a while so my eyebrows are a little bit pale so this just helps to define them a little bit more and then i'm putting on some lashes and i don't know why but is this not so satisfying to watch look at that it's like i don't know what those sound effects are but that's how i feel about it Okay, the song's so much better. It's a vibe. This fast through the get ready with me, I was like in a rush because I was meant to leave for lunch and so I had to rush and blow dry my hair and get changed but I've come back to show you my lip combo. So this is a Maybelline lip pencil I think and XO Beauty lipstick and this colour is so pretty. Look how nice it is and I love the kind of matchiness, you know, between the lips and the eyes. So really stoked. I did end up doing a loose curl with my hair with my GHD just because this is really quick. It takes me like five minutes. So I was like, you know what? I'm already stressed. So why not just elevate the experience? Honestly, I love this type of music. I'm sorry for all of those of you who don't really like it. I, I, I apologize, but I'm just like really vibing it right now. Anyway, I added a little bit of blush too, just to finish off the look. Um, because, yeah, just keeping in, in the little water my trouser in, 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 in theme. In theme with the pinks. And there we have it. That's done. Okay, next one. <laughs> so this look is much more uh, silvery, but I also balanced it out with lots of warm tones on the face lips and crease so that it's not too cool tone if that makes sense it's a nice balance so the way I did this one I started out with no makeup on again and used some of the touch luminous dewy mist all over to prep my skin because it's feeling a little bit dry and doing the same thing with my eyebrows once again
Okay, so after we blend out our eye primer, I'm going into my Native Flora and Fauna palette by EXO Beauty using a crease color just to start. This is warm, so if you're not using this palette, just go in with something warm. That's really important to balance out the silvery tones. Then I'm taking a darker brown, this Kiwi, and putting that on the outer corners. And it all looks hectic right now, but trust the process. Now we are taking our silvery color, um, but I accidentally took it on the brush where I put on my primer, so it kind of just mixed and went into a mush, and it wasn't ideal. So I just had to layer it up. It's fine, really. It kind of helped me to cut the crease. I probably should have gone in with primer to cut the crease first in the first place. I don't know. I don't think I was planning on doing a cut crease. It just kind of happened because of that mistake, but it's fine. It kind of came together. So layering it up. And then we are going to go in with a brown eyeliner. You could do black too, but I just love brown. You guys know me. This one is so good as well by House Labs. It's called Whiskey. Um, I don't know. I really like it. It's super beautiful. Like it's a really rich brown. It's not like a dull dark brown. It's like got a really rich undertone. And then putting on mascara again. I cropped so much of this out because I look crazy when I put on my mascara. So enjoy. Oh, and here is the new XOPD Lash Glue, the dark one, latex free. So go check it out. I'm putting on some little individual cluster lashes that I'm testing out. I've been testing these for a little bit, so stay tuned. But yeah, just popping those on kind of like the outer corners and outer half. Next up, I am applying my Oric Glow Lust in Pyrite, and I'm putting this just on the higher points of my face and mixing together some of this milk and blending it out. So really, the Glow Lust kind of ended up everywhere, but that's fine. That's how I like it. And then I color corrected under my eyes with this Charlotte Tilbury one. It's so good though, like you could literally just not even cover it because it just kind of does all in one, or you can put concealer on top, up to you. But yeah, I love how it makes my under eye area look. And then we're using the same foundation as earlier. It's just in the newer formulation, newer packaging or whatever. And just blending that out all over. And my lighting went nuts. I apologize. And then we're going to conceal. Okay, it's time for a new song again. Hopefully this one's good as well. I don't know. I just picked some random songs off of a label I really like and I was like let's see what these are like I like the artists you know we've got one good one and one that I'm kind of unsure about so far so let's see how this one goes <laughs> We are using our palette again and going underneath the eye with the dark brown just to define that area and then piling on the mascara on the lower lash line. I don't know, I just love lots of lashes down there. It's just my vibe. And then I'm using my highlighter, which is the same one we used in the last look. Um, I'm just using that on the inner corners and brow bone. Alright, what do we think? Very intense, but I kind of like it. I don't know, it reminds me of video games. I like that. Okay, then we're using the same bronzer again, the same brows again. I used a lot of the same products to try and not overwhelm you, but hey. So we're just bronzing up the skin and I am using the same highlighter on my cheekbones. It's so beautiful. I really, really like it. This lip liner is such a pretty color. I really enjoy it. It reminds me of Mari by Exo Beauty, but like maybe warmer. Um, and I don't know, it's really pretty. It's just a nice everyday color. And I feel like it really balanced out the eye makeup because yeah, 
otherwise I feel like too much cool tone on my face just doesn't look as flattering as warm tones so it's a nice balance you know and then for my blush do they still make these or are they discontinued the Clinique pop blushes I had a whole phase with them oh my god I bought like every single color I loved them so much and I still do like I still use mine all the time anyways I really liked how this looked with the wet look here but I don't know how to achieve that and make it stay wet look so I just kind of like vibed it for a few seconds before running off and freaking hair drying my hair and straightening it but look how cute it looks I don't know I really like it I love the look I think it's just really cool and a little bit different to what I would normally do so yeah I was stoked and I honestly did get so many compliments when I put it on my Instagram stories so many of you guys asked me how I did it so hopefully this tutorial does help that is the finished look my loves I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did let me know because I can do heaps more just when I'm chilling on the weekends and everything usually I just don't bother filming but if you like these types of videos I definitely will start filming my makeup all the time and just making these once in a while just showing you guys my makeup in real life love you bye